Hello and welcome. In this video, I would like to share with you the power of Gen 3 Alpha by Runway ML. Now, I have a couple of pictures of a character that I called Sophia Gold. Uh, let me show these in extra large icons. And this character was something I built for a Facebook page that now is getting close to 3,000 followers. Uh, and I use the page to uh, run a ad campaign, targeted Facebook ad campaign to grow an email list, which is around 500 subscribers now after two weeks of running the email campaign or the Facebook ad campaign. And this character, we have created her, called her Sophia Gold, just so that we can relate with people. And I've used Gen 3 to bring her to life. So for instance, this is a video using Gen 3 Alpha or Alpha Turbo. There's a two, one generates results fast, the other focuses on quality. Uh, this is a dynamic video of her. So you can see how it looks. Now, let me repeat it again. And you can clearly see that this is quite nice. Now, maybe you might not think too much of it. You might think, well, that's not really cool. I have a much cooler video, right? Which looks a lot more realistic than that one. So let me play it again. Watch this one. This one does look real 1000%. If people look at this, they'll absolutely think, okay, this is real, right? So you can see how realistic this this sounds. It's we made her smile, right? So and that's nice because we're going to post that on our Facebook page. Then I have another video of myself. And this is interesting because I've generated this picture with uh, Midjourney and I've swapped my face with a character on Midjourney. And then I created a video, which is what I'm about to teach you right now. So let's play it again. Uh, I'm sitting on what seems to be a big fauteuil, uh, as we call it in French. And it's uh, look, what looks to be a mansion. And I have another one where I'm pointing with my finger. So it's amazing what this tool can do, right? You can make yourself sitting on a chair and pointing with your finger. It doesn't get any real than that. Now, of course, there is that little ring that forms. But I think not many people will pay attention to my hand here to see if there is a ring that is getting formed. Uh, but that's okay because we can still fix it by more iterations. I have another one to show you. Watch this. This is also another one that I have just created right now. And uh, it's a pretty good one. It shows me standing and smiling next to what seems to be like a Bugatti Chiron. And uh, that looks quite impressive. Now, here's another one where I've taken an image of a tiger that I've created inside Leonardo. And I transformed that image into a video. Now, have a look at this, you know look at this beautiful tiger that we have brought to life and you can see how magnificent this tiger looks and that is thanks to gen 3 alpha you know but from an image we have transformed the image into a real tiger now there are some glitches that happen here and there but let me tell you these are going to be resolved in the future but just look at the tiger so magnificent i can't stop looking at him you know it's a uh, beautiful animal. Look at this. Very, very beautiful. And it's actually very rare. I don't think there is someone that lived to tell the tale after taking a video as close as this one to a tiger. Not many people get close to a tiger. Now, let's go to uh, here in Runway ML. And I'd like you to uh, go to your app and basically get started. And what we will do is we will do an exercise where... I want you to generate an image of somebody or, or a particular scene that you can imagine from your brain, and then we will give it life. Now, let's get started with Gen 3 Alpha. Now, with Gen 3 Alpha, we're going to use the image to video generator. We're just going to get it started. Then I want you to go to Leonardo and think of a scene that you want to generate. Obviously, here I have a lot of scenes that I have created, and you can either use Midjourney or you can use... Uh, Leonardo Phoenix to generate or Leonardo to generate results. Now, for example, if I take the same prompt here and I go and do slash imagine prompt and I paste this in with a hyphen and AR, AR, I'm going to go for 16 by nine inches. Now, Midjourney and Leonardo are significantly different from each other's. One is that Midjourney has settings, they have different versions. Uh, Leonardo has models. Okay, we have a lot of models. And they're known as presets. And as you can see, these are the most popular models that you can use. You can add more, but these are the best. Currently, I'm using stock photo at a stock photo preset style. 
And these are the images that I have generated. Of course, I'm using character reference here. So I'm using a picture of myself. Now they're trying to get as close as possible to my own picture. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, okay? That's why I'm using the swap face option in, uh, in uh, Midjourney to make it exactly my face because the swap face in Midjourney is extremely powerful. But that's not to say that you can also generate pictures using Midjourney and you can actually transform these pictures later. Now watch this, you know? So we have this character looks really close to John Wick and you can see how interesting these pictures are and uh, you can decide to go with, with, with one of them. So let's say, for example, that you like number three. So if you go and upscale number three, uh, this is a picture of myself standing next to a Bugatti Chiron, a green Bugatti Chiron. It did capture it. What I can do now is I can go ahead and basically save the image as. And after I save this image, let me show you what I want to do with it. I could swap my face. Then we can transform the, this image into a realistic image. Now let's go and go now i'm already at a server where i'm using the swap face app if you want to know about swap face we have basically explained how to use insight face swap inside of midjourney you can go and find it out there's a lecture about it we explain it in detail in this course but right now since i'm in the server i'm going to click slash swap id and i'm just going to go ahead and click to basically grab my image right and i want to swap my face with this guy so if i go and say hamza if I hit enter, now it's going to go and do the work. So it's going to swap our faces. Okay. And Midjourney does a pretty good job of capturing every single thing I said. Uh, as opposed to it, we have uh, Leonardo. It didn't really do a pretty good job. Leonardo, I would say, is more polished, more... There's a lot of glow. They focus on a lot of glowing effects. Uh, Midjourney is more, let's just say, fine-tuned. All right. So here you can see uh, we have the picture... And it's precisely what you need. Now, in order to make this a, uh, a video, you can go ahead and save the image as. And let me show you how we can make this work. So let's go ahead and download this image. Now, after downloading the image, we can go back to Runaway ML. And what you need to do is you need to drag uh, or select an image from your asset by, uh, assets by uploading it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and upload the most recent image. And what we want to do is we just want to simply create a dynamic or a motion about it. Now, we can say, for example, a uh, charismatic, charismatic mafia, or not mafia leader, but let's just say entrepreneur. Why do we always have to go for mafia leader? Charismatic entrepreneur smiling at the camera. And if we actually go ahead and uh, change this to five seconds to consume less credits, I can click generate. And now it will go ahead and proceed. Now, notice that you also have a lot of these particular filters that you can use. So if you want it to be more dynamic, you can click dynamic motion. It will apply dynamic motion, high angle. Uh, there's a lot of different ty types of angles that you can take and, and motions that you can do. Obviously, I'm going to stay with uh, the normal one. I'm not going to add anything. And here you have this setting as well that you can control the aspect ratio as well as the resolution and so on and so forth. And if you want to remove the watermark, you can remove it. I think that will cost you maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure about that. Maybe someone can correct me on it. Uh, but I really do think that would probably cost you a little bit more when you remove the watermark. Now it's at 60%. Let's just wait a second and our video is going to be uh, ready in a second. All right, so the video is ready. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because sometimes it doesn't really turn out fantastic. And if I actually click, you can see that it turned out perfect. It's just perfect. They are actually showing the uh, the person. Uh, it's a close up and it looks very, very realistic. I don't think it gets any better than this, right? Uh, so it just is incredible. And of course, you can, you can change the outcome by changing the original image. So if we can probably put the smiley face on the picture when we, are, when we generate uh, the pictures, we can say the, the guy is smiling. Uh, for example, the first guy has a smiling attitude about him. He's also younger. This one is a bit older, maybe in his uh, early 50s. And so as you can see, uh, that's quite nice as well. Now I'm going to keep this video uh, because I might... I might actually use it 
So I'll, I'll be downloading it and we can play it uh, like this by going full screen. Now you have to understand that you will consume a lot of credits by using Gen 3, uh, but you know, it's, it's, it's okay to use these technologies. Now I'm using Gen 3 Alpha. Uh, I'm not using the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. This one is faster. And I believe that by be, being faster, it might consume more if it's generating high quality videos. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this lecture. I hope that you've enjoyed it so far. It was just a thing I wanted to share with you. So if you're interested to maybe create what I do, what I'm doing, uh, which is maybe create a character and then animate that particular character in order to get more traction on social media, then you can use Gen 3 Alpha to do it. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Passive Income Gen Z was wishing you the best in signing up. But before that, I wish that you can go ahead and take some time to leave your feedback about this course. Also, please do let us know what you want us to create the next lecture about. Uh, see you soon.